playing what at this point in time. They just have to pick it. Now, apparently, some people are AFK. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, Dota Pit Season 3. I want to thank you guys for joining us today. And we have a lot of games coming up here. Cloud9 versus NIP tomorrow as well. That'll be a lot of fun. See yeah, how things do turn out here in this series, though. This is a, a big series, probably Secret's first real test in Dota Pit as the defending champions, by the way. Dota Pit Season 2 winners. Team Secret taking it over Asus Polar, Virtus Pro Polar at the time. With that being said, though, two game series now underway. The draft is done. Secret, they'll head into their own jungle, trying to be defensive here. An aggressive smoke coming out from Virtus Pro. We'll see what they try to do. They might just sit around this top rune spot and say, hey, listen, this is ours. If you come near this, we're going to kill the hell out of you. RTZ S4 puppy. They're not really venturing any further. This oh, they're going into oh. the enemy jungle for Virtus Pro. They're gonna try to fight. Kuroki whirling axes. It does connect. Yo looking for a telekinesis. The charge gets off. Kuroki in trouble. The right click from BZZ. Big Fisher on to three. Kuroki will fall. S4. He might have to time walk away. The double race coming out. The cogs pushing BZZ back. No Malphite's time walk goes, slows up BZZ. Can they get this counter kill? Absolutely. But S4 getting low, getting body blocked by his teammates, gets dragon slaves. They won't chase any further. Already Carnage on the map at less than uh, 20 seconds to go in the game. It's a one for one trade, man. Oof, spicy. Yeah, it really is. Now let's see if there's any sort of runes happening right there. Because you usually contest the rune spot, so you can maybe get some double double bounty runes. It's already a huge start if you're halfway into level one. But looks like everyone's just content to get one each. Why do we have all setting going on? Whatever. BCC. You know what? How does BZZ fare against Clockwork solo? Like, is this gonna be even? Uh, this probably is really good for BZZ. Until, well, it's actually okay until he gets his uh, melee. And then if he doesn't get cogged, I think he's probably fine. He'll lose mana, but I don't think it matters. Zai doesn't have that burst damage to deal with. He can maybe lock him in the cogs, but like if that's the case, then all of a sudden, you know, you have BZZ, he'll Whirling Axe, then he just, the mischance on the clock looks oh, yeah, right. real, and he can't fight. I think BZZ has the better matchup here. Plus, he has range to work with if necessary, but yeah, I think this is definitely BZZ. And also, he has Yol down here to support as well. Suddenly, he's rotated in top lane, can cut some shots to Doi. He's fine. Just kidding. He's all right. I'm still waiting for the mid engage because I see this guy play so defensively. If you have, I mean, it's not that easy to it actually. Like you have a LSA, yes, it's got great delay though and a very long cast animation, so you gotta make sure this is perfectly on point. And level one fissure really is only like one second, I think. Yeah, there it is. So I mean, RTZ knows he's there. He saw Jadon right. the entire way because uh, yeah, he just he, he I think he saw it with the ward first of all, and then secondly, he just Jadon walked up too far a couple of times. So yeah, he's got full vision of him. I'm I'm showing though. Division right now. Also important to note. Uh, meanwhile, top lane maybe. No, 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 no. Okay, never mind me. Never mind me. A uh, puppy was actually forced to use a level one midnight pulse, and he had to jungle with it, and he did so nicely. But this is something you never want to have happen. So he's yeah, already... he, he's out. He's low in health. He's low in mana. Of course, he'll clear it. I'm sure that'll be fine. Jotam has vision on him. Will he try to steal that creep? He to go for it. Uh, he's just kind of back away. He's like, I don't want this stolen. All right, nice work. He saw him completely. He's like, Jotam is nearby. He's trying to steal my oh, camp. Bottom. bottom lane, Zyze. Their telekinesis is there. Is. They also have a fable. Gets him behind the cogs, but BZZ oh. still gets pushed out. Battery Salt's going to go. BZZ can't really chase him down. He could go ranged for him, but that won't do enough. It was a good effort coming up from Yol, but not enough. Oh, geez, taking a beating, though. He's forced himself it's up there. It's a haste rune? Ooh, they are, they are shadowing Puppy in the jungle. They were chasing after him. They're going to rotate mid with Sedoi as well as Jotam. This is a couple of frightening people here in this middle lane. And they have no idea. Now they see him, actually. Jotam has a haste rune. Oh, no. This could be a, well, your third kill of the game here, actually. Yola's coming in, though, as well. Oh. RTZ. There we go with the space car initiation. Jotam. Fissure is on point. G. Oh, he missed. Not oh. quite, but you know what? Who cares? You get the kill. Yeah, anyways. who cares? They get the courier. They get the kill. That is a big pickup for Virtus Pro to start things off. Wow, that was I, that was ballsy. Jalab comes in, he does have the haste rune, so there's no real reason for him to not run around and do that. But Yol comes in as well. He rotated all the way down from the bottom lane. They rotate four heroes mid to get that kill and the courier. But that might be worth it, because you do still have BZZ farming bottom. I think that's a really good choice from Virtus Pro and a big pickup. And not only the kill, but the courier. Yeah, the courier's big. I mean, the question is... Oh, yeah, okay. RTZ still has his bottle, so it's not... Yeah, yep, yep, yep. It's not... Destroying the mid lane for secret right now. It's still it's still pretty good, yeah. Um, question is, like, what do you sacrifice in return? And this is a 17 for six last hit um, S4. And meanwhile, Zai bottom. Oh, this is your cogs. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. See you later, Zai. One more right click. Does he have a wand? No, he doesn't. 
I kind of like the one for the offlane. Yeah, I, I'm surprised he didn't get a stick yet, but that that probably yeah, saves him. Are. And that I think he maybe survives there, but regardless, he goes down. Nice pickup coming out. It's alright if he dies once or twice as long as he's getting experience in gold because Spirit Breaker's not. I guess he is level 3. They charge up. They have vision on Puppy. Puppy is getting chased down. So always just going to go right in. Level 1 Whoa. bash. Oh, the bash proc. And Puppy has to leave. This is so much damage coming out with the right click. Puppy is not going to have that 4.5 level 6 that we see so often on Enigmas. That is going to. He is. He's not having a good time in comparison to his usual jungle shenanigans. Kuroki has to be very careful that he doesn't get caught. Uh oh, they're gonna go again. Let's see the space couch dart up. Oh, the fissure nails him. Now, can they follow up? Hmm? Oh, Just one more. Hello. No way. <laughs> is, is he gonna is charge he this? No way. He's, He's gonna so dive at you too. Holy shit, mod. He's gonna get the kill. Oh god, and no one is coming. Kuroki's like, team help, please. Archie's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm forming it, sorry. And then, as far as, like, no, I'm forming top. Puppy's like, I had to go back home. The only person that could have probably TP'd was going to be Zai, but he just TP'd bottom, I think. They're going to charge mid. Artizi's going to back up. He knows he's being charged. Sedoi literally goes right underneath the tower, right. takes, like, three tower hits, and then backs off. Sedoi is a manly man on the space, Cal. Let me tell you. Guy's ballsy as hell, but it's paying oh. off. He's 1-0-2. Bottom. Elkinesis, Zai. Rolling axes. They don't have the ranged rolling axes. They didn't use them. They throw them. And Zai's gonna. Oh, wow, so close, close to die. That fade bolt damage doing a lot, but not enough. Well, maybe it was the right decision after all. Ring of protection and stout shield. Three armors. What is the block? That's a yeah. lot of physical like defense. And you know what? It makes. I think we're wrong. A stick, yeah, it would be nice. But if you think about the right click damage early on in the game, like in the first five minutes, it's so much higher than your magical ones. So I think it makes a lot of sense actually, and of course, I mean, Zeiss the pro, we are not, so it makes, it it does make sense after all. I like it. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. gotta say, the levels are interesting. Look at this, Earthshaker level 2. Ugh. That's, uh, that's, I guess that's the problem when you play like a roaming Earthshaker like this, is you're, you're sacking levels for keeping your team ahead in all the other lanes, and that's fine, because you can come, you can catch up eventually, mm. uh, but he is going to be the 5 position, almost the 6 position, it feels like, in this game for the time being. But, uh, I mean, if we look at the graph here, Virtus Pro, they have a pretty big lead in net worth. They're crushing the mid lane matchup. I mean, this is not even... Arteezy literally is getting dual lane against. He has 12 last hits on this Shadow Fiend. G is dealing with him nicely. He has phase boots. He's crushing uh -oh. in CS. Puppy's going to get charged. She tried to go for the rune. He finds it, but gets Lagooned by GC. They're not done. Puppy. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to chase after Kuroki. No Bash just yet. They don't have charge. They have no mana for it either. S4 is going to walk in. Dragon Slave not going to get the kill. S4. Four has Chronosphere, but G is going to work. Chronosphere on to two. Sadoi in trouble. Gonna get Ancient Sealed. Fisher coming out. Gonna help S4. Time walks, but only a minuscule amount. He can't get down to the low ground. He'll deny himself, but won't actually get there. G with the right click. Meanwhile, Zyde just get a solo kill on bottom on BZZ. That at least is pretty big. I'm pretty sure he used his hookshot for that kill. Nope. Maybe not. No, he didn't. didn't. I just didn't even skill it yet. Overextension from maybe the troll warlord top lane. We're not done. G's gonna get caught out. Concussive shot. Raise. Nice LSA. Puppy looking for him. Alphys. He's too far away. They can't chase. They cannot dive the tower. In secret, they feel like they're struggling at this point in the game, man. That that's an awful fight going for them. Yeah, I mean everything went right for VP, first of all. Um the Chronosphere and a space cow. Yeah, that's nice, but this guy is so damn tanky. He's got a stealth shield, he's got a bell of giants. Dude, he's got one KHP six armor. Like, how do you bring him down if you aren't, like, super lucky with your bashes? So, well, all in all, secret, you know, this was expected, I guess. I mean, VP had to win laning stage and had to win it hard. Uh, now, yeah. let's see how they can transition. Like you mentioned, the um, the Ushaka, he can catch up nicely, but there needs to be a bit of space. And let's see if there's going to be any sorts of action happening mid lane. Yeah, there it is, and the LSA perfectly done. And this is something oh. you don't just backtrack. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He's just like, please, RNG, RNG, I have level one backtrack. Come on. Gets Laguna bladed anyways, and G gets the kill with the help of Yo helping him out down in that uh, mid lane. Meanwhile, they've rotated while well, BZZ stayed in the bottom lane. Um, that kill was pretty big, though, for the clockwork, because that's the one hero that will tra transition well from the mid to late game that you have for Virtus Pro, because Spirit Breaker is not going to be the best late game. Lena's okay mid-ish game, but late game she's not great. So BZZ needs to continue to farm and needs to not get caught out. So Zai getting that kill is actually huge. Plus it provides him a lot of farm as well. And he goes for the urn, which is not a particular clockwork item that you see. And that's something that I was not expecting, but if he's getting kills, that might be enough. And it'll help his team survive. So I, I like the choice. Yeah, definitely. And he'll stay bottom. 
It also makes a lot of sense against those, um, yeah, I want to say more durable guys like BCC, because he wants to sit him hard, right? So it makes a lot of sense to just get the little bit of extra damage the end provides you, so maybe it's enough to actually gonna get the kill. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna be playing the clockwork like someone who just roams the supports and feeds on them. Uh, meanwhile, yo, oh, there's a charge as well. They've got full vision, but I know something's up. And there it is. Oh, the counter initiation actually. Now this is gonna be maybe a big mistake. No, the corks are on point. Perfectly done by Zai. They get one kill, and maybe there's more crook coming in. The slows, the silences. Everyone just pounding away on BZZ. He can't sustain. He can't prevail. Not at all. And he's gonna be falling. Meanwhile, there is no trade happening, but they want to go again. Oh no, mod. What is happening in this game? The Doi goes in a bit too early on. They have uh, another strike. Long range. Fish is about to come out. Now the Dragon Slave with the Ancient Seal on the G. He's getting low. The Arcane Bolt will kill him. Big turnaround coming in. Oh, G lives. G lives with 18 HP and Zai survives as well. G has to TP back home. That was almost disastrous for his pro, but G will survive in the end. <laughs> Just a really good fight. Secret coming out on top. Somehow, that flight, that counter engagement, and obviously, Zai with the hookshot Kai is beautifully done. Yeah, that's an issue. When you're playing against the clockwork as a space car, those cogs, man, they, they just. It just hurts so much, and you don't have too much mana. Now, the good news is, Sidoi does have a magic stick, but. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to go in a fight and just have every little bit of mana burned away. What's I mean, is that enough, the, the magic stick? I don't think so. This guy is, uh, I'd, he's I mean, pretty... it's alright, right? For the nether Yeah, it's something, I guess. Mm. But that's it. Right. <laughs> that's oh, pretty for much For now, it. Virtus Pro, they still have a lead, I believe. No, it's only like 500. Wow, that last fight really did not help them out. Um, and S4 is still the leading farmer here in the game. 62 CS, which is a decent chunk of CS here. Early on in the game, considering what's happened, a lot of fights he's died once. He's died twice, actually. Once in the mid lane, once in the top lane. Going for Mask of Madness, obviously, when he gets that item, he can fart a, fight a bit more aggressively. And oh, now double damage nice. picked up. Oh, they're going to fight. They got the cogs, shot him goodbye. Lester Gray is going to go Willie Laguna for this. He could. Thinking about it. Battle Trance is going to oh. go. He's not going to fight. He gets body blocked by Creeps. He gets raised. Zai gets a double kill. Puppet was like, I can black hole for this. They decide against it. And now they're going to take a tier 1 tower. It's secret all of a sudden. What happened? They're turning it on. They're 6 to 8 now, but still they get a tier 1 tower. And then they're in the lead in terms of net worth. And especially experience. Like, yeah, sure, I mean, net worth is like pretty big mid game. But experience in the early game is like very, very huge. If you have your ultimates and your enemies don't, yeah, team fights are going to be so damn hard to do. So, I'm just waiting for Kurok level 6. And he's going to have it in just a bit. I guess Secret are going to be very happy about the sand by then. Yeah, and, and then we talked about the Earthshaker as well, man, and he is, he's a level 4. He's a bit sad. He's got a TP bottom. They're going to try to fight this tier 1 tower. There are a lot of TPs. Wow. Three TPs coming bottom. G, Yol, Jotam, the gang squad ready to go. Yol will walk forward. Time walk, Telkinesis. What an initiation, but where's the Fisher? Where's the LSA? He went too early. Mm. That's uh, womp womp, I guess. Wow, 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 wow. This? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Count. Back to farming it is for everyone else. Um, I'm I'm still banking on the fact that this uh, this G, Lena is going to be doing a lot of work, because as soon as he hits 11, he can pretty much one shot everyone. That's not going to be BKBs. Oh, the clocker hooks are just like five units or something. That was ridiculously close. Nice. Yeah, range not quite there. I don't think. And also he missed the left side. I'm pretty sure. Meanwhile, S4 going to get charged up top lane. He will have time to walk. He's going to get another strike. Bash is in, that's there. Wow. He chronospheres at the last second. He stays alive. RTZ gets caught in the chrono, though. They're going to back away. They're not going to fight this. Rolling Axe is going to go. Now they're two in tower under siege. And S4 has to go home. He is. Well, actually, he has a Morbid Mask. He's going to try to just. He's going to lifesteal back up to full, I guess. That is greedy. But, I mean, you have the Clockwork on your side, so there's not going to be some random Clockwork. Rockets. Meanwhile, yo against Kuroki. Round one fight. Let's see how they're gonna be doing this. Uh, well, that's the silence. Fish as well. Now that's a two versus one. I mean, come on. That's not fair. Not at all. And there is G coming in. LSA. No. Of course not. Just a good old dragon slave. There we go. A, a, and a bottle contribution. Because he's got a he skills. Yeah, that's nice. Four and minutes, man. That's pretty fast too. Yep. All right. It's, I mean, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> he's five and one. You know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's that's the big thing. They're going to charge mid. Zai, ooh. The Cox came out. It would have stopped Zidoy from charging. And he does not want to go into those two heroes. 35% um, win rate in mid lane for Alina. That seems disastrously low. But 
things can turn around as they have the lead. Well, they had a lead. Not anymore. Uh oh, pieces here. Army of the Ancients, Battery Assault, Cogs, Willing Axes with the Mischance, Battle Treads already went, Malthus goes, Mech to keep Zai fighting, the Black Hole? I don't know if that was necessary to get the kill. Hookshot into Sadoi as he was nether striking. He's gonna back away. Zai with the plays. Raise nether strike out of Arteezy. He's gonna kind of low. Dragon Slave, he's gonna fall to the leader right click. The one for one. Right. That's pretty big. Yeah, that's excellent. I mean, sure. Oh, someone's top. Never mind. S4, he just went away. And now he's got my Smiles of Mana, so now the Void can just do some PvE gaming. You know, just get the jungle. This is mine now. Puppy, what are you doing in my jungle? And, well, that's pretty much it. Now, still, um, the power spike is there for the Lina right now. It's a level 11 Lina. I just want to see VP try to take fights. Or even better, just smoke gank it up. And there is one smoke already purchased up by the Rubik. Maybe even some more coming in? Let's see. No, it's one smoke. All right. Yeah, but they got to make this count. They got to keep up the pressure. All right, well, secret. That's quite the... That that was losing Arteezy mid, I think, was a big problem. But he is still doing okay as an Ogre Club. Obviously he he's actually second in net worth, which probably shouldn't happen. He was at twelve CS early on in the game. He's like right in the middle of the pack in CS, but he's been involved in a lot of kills, so that's big. They'll also get two towers, one of them the uh, the top lane, one of the mid lane. So his his BKB is close to being completed. He just needs that mithril hammer, so he's not quite there yet, but I think so far, I'm not sure if you feel the same way. I think the, the onus is on Virtus Pro to make something happen this game because it feels like Secret could just take this game over and, and win in a couple of minutes, you know? No, oh, absolutely. I mean, um, that's the issue if you have a, someone like an Enigma who's essentially fourth core. So you're going to be having some good late game uh, like playmakers. And also Clock, you can't say he's in the late game. Oh, snap, Kuroki. Just uh, just let's let's wait for this because he's trying to juke somewhere. Oh, no! So Dice on the high ground doesn't matter at all. He can just nether strike down there, and this is an easy kill. And let's see, secret. They're smoked up. They want to go, Mod. Three versus five. I don't know about this. Chrono on to two, but what can they get done? They don't have Black Hole. Fisher block. G about to fall to the right click. Sadoi. Nether strike not available. He'll get right click down. Double kill for S4. They stole Chrono's fear. That's nice. Whoa. Use it on Arteezy, but there's they have to right click from outside the Chrono. They're doing it. Arteezy gets Telekinesis. The mech's going to keep him alive. Requiem about to go, and it will get off the double Requiem doing work, but BZZ still alive in the meantime. Yol with the Fabled. Hook shot. Long range. Echo Slam. Zai cannot get the cogs off. Yol is still going to fall to the battery. So four staff from Zai. The body blocks. John, I'm trying to juke it out. Can't do so. And Zai with the comeback plays. The double kill. Whoa. Oh, that offlane player, he's a goddamn man. Comes in, gets the double hook shot. What a player. Yeah, what a play indeed. That was amazing. Um, it, it looked so bad. Then it looked great, and it looked just bad again. I, I mean, four people dying. And we were talking about it. You gotta keep up the pressure. Well, well that's not quite it. And I gotta say, Secret have some balls, dude. They just lost their support, and they still go in. They're like, all right, well, let's let's go, let's take some revenge here. And... <laughs> yeah, seriously. Ay, ay, ay. That's crazy. It was a three versus five engagement. Zai wasn't even there for the first half of the fight. They get chronoed. RTZ barely lives and gets his requiem off. And then after that, they're like, well, I'll just keep going. Screw it. We're already committed. Let's go. Ball steep. Zai comes in, gets a beautiful hook shot, in the choke point. Oh, that's just something else. Lu Lena, excuse me, still top of the net worth chart. She's getting closer and closer to Ags. By that, I mean she's still like 2,500 gold away. Uh oh Charge? Shadoi? Oh, Kuroki, not again, buddy. Nether Strike. He is Fade Bolted. He is dead. Fisher even used to get the kill. Oh, Shadoi? Well, Dog, they go again. Right? Wow. Oh, sorry. No, take it away. <laughs> uh, they have Black Hole. They're going to go on Shadoi. The big hookshot coming in. Midnight Pulse. Shadoi should fall to the right click in Midnight Pulse. Oh, just kidding. Charge that. Earn Charge. Earn Charge. He sticks what? up. He'll live. Maybe. He's gonna live! Wow! Yes, the, HP. <laughs> the rocket! Of low HP. No! It doesn't hit! Oh my god, Sadoi. What a lucky beast. He actually. That stick saved his life, Sadoi. Now he'll earn up as well. It's a one for nothing. Even expending the hookshot to not get a kill. Top lane. BZC's gonna walk right in. Arteezy's gonna requiem. His soul's 36, doing a lot of damage, but. The turn coming in, BZZ getting low, double raise, Arteezy snipes him out with the raises, now G getting chased down, Fisher comes out to stop Zai, doesn't have hook shot, earn charge to go, G maybe in some trouble, he doesn't have his Yules, oh, 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 oh S4 finds Jada, but he was looking for Lina, Arteezy stuck in his raise animation, that's oh, kind of funny. Him. 
Yeah, Puppy will get the kill with the mouth. Oh, stop. Stop with the mouth. Oh. And the black hole securing the kill. Probably worth it. Big, big pickups. Three for nothing for Secret. Oh, Maybe four. has got to run. I do see him. Uh-oh, so he doesn't have a hookshot, does he? Oh, he's, he doesn't have the mana for it. That's unfortunate. Could have been another kill. But still, I mean, three for zero. This is a robbery. After, once again, a very aggressive play from VB. But they gotta do this. I don't fault them for going so aggressive behind it here, too. They got it. They got it. They got to somehow uh, just, you know, run away with the game. Y'all. Oh, the hook shot. That's, uh, that's a close one. Now Zai's completely oh, he's He still it. goes for it. Well, all right. That's interesting. They just know no of here at all. Sedoi. Oh no, come on, stop going on the punching bag. Someone stop them. Oh, the hookshot got stolen by Rubik. This is a play you want to make when you're behind. Oh, actually, when you got it. No, Yola's going to be dying from the neutrals. And the urn? No? Well, maybe. Can he deny himself? Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, Can he deny urn? I, no, right? I, maybe not. I don't no, know. No, no, you I can't. Don't. Maybe, right, well, maybe, then the, maybe the neutrals would have done it. All right, well, uh, forget it. <laughs> these is these CP top line. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Thanks, small packs, for making me look like a fool. You're the best. Top line, these is farming's actually getting close to an SNY, but that should have been there five to ten minutes. Well, I'm not saying five minutes ago, probably, is when that SNY should have been done. And the secret are pretty far ahead in this game now with 5,000 net worth lead, a almost 10,000 experience lead, which is huge. They're gonna smoke Roche. Arteezy, this is the biggest issue with Arteezy. He, he's barely got his BKB flying out. He's the one hero that's a little bit underwhelming for Secret currently. But even so, he could still like triple raise. He could still be effective in fights. And S4 is getting a ton of farm. So he's going to be the late game carrier for Secret at this point. Puppy's getting kind of low. Puppy, okay, he backs up. All right. Dang oh, alive. They don't have a medallion. They are sneaking it. I don't know if Virtus probably have any idea this is happening. Looks like they're not. They're no, looking to maybe smoke. They'll get there maybe in time. I don't think so. I think Roche probably... Yeah, Roche is already dead. Aegis is going to go for a TZ. And Virtus Pro, now they have to make the decision. Do we fight into this? And Kuroki with the Invis Rune is going to break the smoke. I mean, this is going to be suicide if you smoke and... If, if you smoke and you get revealed, you have no idea who's there. So there's got to be an Invis Rune. You do not want to take the side. Maybe Zai... Oh, he's kind of out of position. Now he's up on the high ground. Now gets smoked. Oh. Fail, pushed down. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is Sadoi going to be doing there? He's going to have a charge in 4 second mode. Can he run away? Plays your bits now. He might get silenced. Yeah, he's silenced. Misty Flare, Malthus, you're dead. That is just a fortunate double chrono. Time walk across the ravine, up to the high ground. Yol's about to fall. They'll probably grab G as well. BZZ getting fought. Meanwhile, Fisher comes out and G will survive. Mask of Madness. Requiem's about to go. BZZ getting manned up on that. Time walk away. Big light strike ray. They TP out one of their heroes. Meanwhile, Sedoi is still fighting back into the fray. S4 getting a little hill fall. Arteezy is still alive, but now they don't really have the damage. That actually turns into a two for one. Sedoi maybe with the right place. Two back. for two, actually, as he bought back. G is. Why are you there, G? You should have backed away. He actually gives up his life. Oh, no, that <laughs> was not the play to make. Oh, man. I like the buyback, though, from the uh, space car. I mean, it's, it's 21 minutes in. Yes, you want to build an item with your Ogre Club. Still, those fights are so important, you might as well just buy back and, uh, well, yeah, like you mentioned, he's not going to be the biggest late game presence, he's still going to be good, uh, but more of a control type, so you don't need that much farm. Uh, how does Jotam lock on his blink? Well, that's that's good news, you know? That's something VP definitely got going with him. He's going to have it in just a bit, then. Ow. Well? Uh, he got a lot of that farm seemingly out of nowhere. I guess he's been fighting a lot, but... It's still surprising to me. He has it now, man. He just oh, that's it. Blood like dagger done. You know, that's okay. Oh, someone's top. Hello, puppy. Sadoi once again going onto some uh, solo rampage. He's gonna live. So Earn. He's getting kind of low. S4 doesn't have Chronos here. He'll chase after Sadoi. Sadoi will have charge in two. I don't. Oh, uh, he well, gets a bash. Gonna get the perma bash. That is. Oh, the ancient seal came too late. Charge persists through silence. Apparently. Uh oh, mid lane. Meanwhile, Zai gets Yul's up. He's in trouble. Oh, avoids the light trick ray. Gets hit by the fish archer. The echo step coming in onto Zai, getting low. Jonathan will fall, but he does get the kill in the end. BZZ the one to secure it. Concussive shot gonna go. That is not the hero you want. A concussive shot. BZZ is super fast. RTZ pops his BKB. It's done now. Top lane charge onto Puppy again. Puppy's like, I'm safe. There's no way he's gonna come for me again. Wrong. Had Puppy had mana, he uh -oh. could black hole Sedoi. Sedoi! It's gonna turn it! Oh, Holy shit! Oh, and Puppy lives with the back at the last second. 
Oh my god, that was insane. <laughs> that was Sidori's, amazing. Sidori is puking right now, man. There's, he's upset. Uh, and he was hating so hard on Poppy. He was charging him, charging him once again. Going once again top lane. And now Poppy's like, nope. Not gonna happen. Denied. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> That's great. And also speaking of which, this guy's filthy rich. Seriously, he's got 3.4k gold. And BOTs. Like, this is patented Poppy style. Enigma. Get some mech, get some soul ring, I mean soul ring into mech, get some BOTs, and go do something with it? I have no idea. This is, uh, I, his BOTs are just so he can put push and then get into a team fight at a moment's notice, which is, like, huge. I think he, he never builds Blink either, so we'll see. He might go, like, BKB, which is okay, although, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. BKB is huge, although spell steel will go through, but still, it's pretty big. Yeah, and charge, so, yeah. I guess. Charge another strike go through too. That's the thing. Yeah. Then again, charge. I mean, you can't really charge without getting caught on a black hole. So true. True. This is no hard version of Spirit Breaker. And another strike. Yes. It's. Wait a second. What's the range? It's. It's enough, I guess. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah it's, game it's, well, I still think a BKB is probably the better choice for Puppy because if you get. Because if you get the Earthshaker and Rubik in the black hole anyways, then that's it. I mean, the only thing you can do to him is, like, Laguna Blade him, which does a lot of damage, but he yeah. lives through that. Yeah, okay, but then again, you, you're you getting a support and a offlaner in your, you know, black hole instead of the very much more important troll. And I would yeah, say yeah, even yeah, the yeah. uh, G-Lena is going to be way more important, just because oh, actually, the damage yeah, up is so huge. He's going I mean, Bloodstone. He goes for this all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least last time I saw him, he went for right. it. RTZ, they're Netflix. rotating mid. Smoke, it's gonna be popped as four. He could chrono. RTZ getting Yules. He does have his BKB. This is an awkward engagement. Now it's on to G. Gonna back now. We're not gonna back. We're gonna back now. We're gonna fight. Are we gonna fight? I think we might. RTZ walking into BZZ. Uh, Yol oh. spot. They know Yol is there. They know Yol. That there. rocket. Goodbye, Yol. Ouch. He cancel that charge, Sadoi. You don't want to go in on this, man. Chrono, chrono, chrono. Oh, he uses himself, but Jotam still is the target. Now, RTZ bashed up, but they've already taken down three heroes. Yoles will buy back, but still, BZZ is alone. BZZ, this was not the fight to take, my friend. He will go down to RTZ's right click. Spell was stolen. It's Requiem, which is nice, but he, he's the only one alive. They've lost all four heroes, and he had to buy back for that. Oh, no. Secret now crushing this game. They get 2,000 gold off of that fight. They force out a buyback that does nothing for them. And the secret are in the commanding lead of this game. Yeah, and suddenly big items. I mean, Void is going to be looking to finish his BKB soon. Uh, I imagine the next fight he's going to have it. And also, uh, check some more items just while we're at it. Sodom's blink, yeah, it was there. It wasn't effective at all just because of the Chronosphere. And even though I gotta say, Sedoya was doing a really good job at trying to stop the uh, Shadowfiend ultimate every time, it didn't really matter. Because this Shadowfiend ult, yes, it got off two seconds late. But it still got so much damage done, and if you have a Void who's farmed as, I mean, Mass of Madness, Maelstrom, this guy's gonna hurt. And you have a Skywrath Mage. This is already enough damage, you don't even need the Shadow Fiend Ultimate, that was crazy. Yeah, that's the thing, like, they could have replaced the RTVC with any other hero mid, like, even a Control Hero or something, and they would have been fine. But the Requiem comes down and is just like, well, I guess we're dead anyways, I guess we're all just gonna die now. So, Secret R, and that was without Black Hole, by the way. They could have used it there, they didn't. So the, these are fights that Virtus Pro are losing pretty drastically. They are down 10,000 net worth, 14,000 experience. They didn't get the uh, Laguna Blade off for Lena. And we are in a pause. Hmm. Mop Packs, hello. What's up, dude? You want to give us some... You have some jokes, Mop Packs? I know you do. You got them stashed up somewhere. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a joke book. Yo, oh. How did the pirate get his job at Walmart? How, Mottpex, I feel like I know where this is going. Oh, God. <laughs> he was sales manager for five years. Um, thank God I'm not American. So I don't understand it at all. <laughs> God, this is so awkward. It's all right, man, listen. It's fine, we got a game. All you need to know, all you need to know is the joke is really bad, but that okay. makes it somewhat funny. Because Mottpex, right. that's his job. Mm -hmm. See, we don't pay him per stat, we pay him per joke, actually. Shh. Don't tell everyone. That's okay, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting paid per missed kill, right? So, there's something going for us. Yeah, man. Wink. <laughs> oh, man. 
Amazing. All right, let's see. Place your bets now. 18 for 25. Kill scores looking good. Who's going to be taking the next fight? Dear chat. Write one if you think it's going to be VP. Write two if you think it's going to be secret. There's going to be a lot of twos. <laughs> going to throw that out I there. I hope there's some three to twos in there as well. Yes, exactly. Some deep hit three to twos in there. Yeah, the deep hit three to two is... Uh, that's a good one. All right, what do we get okay. going on? BZZ has his SNY almost done. He needs his belt of strength. Meanwhile, S4 picks up a pretty big item in BKB. So that's nice. He'll have it ferried out to him in a moment. Someone else is using the courier for whatever reason. It's an ultimate order for RTZ, who is more than likely picking up a Scotty somewhere in the near future. And I think if you're secret, you just you don't even have to fight. They probably will, but you could just farm and continue to elongate the game. And then at that point, Brodus Pro have not much else to deal with in, I'd say, about 10 minutes or so. Because they don't really, they don't scale that well, except for maybe the Troll Warlord. But he's not nearly big enough to, to man fight these heroes. Yeah. I mean, mischance is nice and all, but if there's double BKVs up on the other side... Yeah, you can just dispel it and... Round 2? It's... It's even questionable if there's going to be a, like a round two when the BKB set on because they've got so much damage on the side of Secret and a Black Hole to keep everyone in place and a Clockwork. Uh, it's it's hard. It really is to actually force fights to go into longer durations. Yeah, but Virtus Pro have to do this. They have to smoke. We've talked about this a lot, but... Nice. Yeah, I like it. And, th and this smoke is actually the optimally timed because of Roche respawning in 10 seconds or so. And because of this, they're, if they get a pick, then they can transition to Roche pretty quickly. Puppy smokes up. They have no idea. They have no idea that they're over at their Roche pit. RTZ, I think he spotted them out. The pin comes through. They don't know. Or are they just going to head bottom they, of the they tier knew. 2 tower? They saw him. They saw him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good thing you have that vision button. That helps oh. me so much. Yeah, it's amazing. Best feature 2k50. Oh, wait. Yeah, seriously, Valve. Thanks for that. They're going to go for the bottom tier 2 tower. tower Alright. And meanwhile, Virtus Pro are like, I guess we're, what do we do? Do we go Roche? Okay, oh, guys, that's actually big. Go and there's no dire word to see this is happening. You know, Secret are just going to get- so they, much damage. Oh, they're gonna they get battle this. trans, they battle trans, they know, but they're not going to go for it. They're going to wait for them to walk back up to the they high ground. It. Oh, they kill the dire courier. Time walk, Chronosphere on to two. G does get away, but S4 pops his BKB. But the Laguna Blade doing some work. BZZ tanky is all hell. S4 getting bashed up. They need the black hole. Chronosphere was stolen. Black hole on to two, but where's the fall up? Telekinesis, Yo with the big plays. And there's the Requiem coming in. Sadoi going to go to work. He's actually going to get silenced up. BZZ stuck out of the fight. The Requiem, the Rays will kill him. Two for one trade. Virtus Pro still somehow come out on bottom in this fight. Sadoi has to back away. And even with such good positioning and killing S4 early on, they're still going to lose this Roshan. They're still going to lose the Aegis. I think that is a byproduct of Secret just being too far ahead at this point. And Secret will take the uh, the victory in the fight and Roshan as well. If you can still check it, go check the fight recap. Because Poppy did the most damage by far in this fight. He did 1800 damage. The next one was Void with a really good two-man Chronosphere and some time lock procs. So this is crazy. This guy is just doing so much work. And meanwhile, they're going to fight Jotam. Nope! Just kidding. Oh, they see him again. Uh, Another missed hook shot. That was... I, I just wanted to say this. Like, the hook shot from, uh, from Zai, he was on Mud Golems. And I was so sure this is going to be an amazing fight for VP, and it still didn't. And, well, now it's going to be a very pesky high ground defense. They're going to lose at least the tier 3, maybe even some wrecks. I guess tier 3 is going to be it. They don't have troll for 14. They have no glyph either. There's no glyph available. They used it at the tier 2 tower bottom, I think. And they're going to lose the melee racks at the very least. Artis is not hitting the, hit the building, Artor. Hit the building. There you go, buddy. Good work. Fade Bolt coming out, <laughs> reducing the damage. And backing up, I think, after this melee racks. I don't know if you go for the range. I think Artis puts a bit of pressure. He's going to get Yules up. The charge comes in. S4 jumping in. The Chronosphere only hits on a G, but... That's a pretty big target. G going to fall. Nether Strike into the, the Chronosphere. Meanwhile, Telkinis is on Puppy. Sidor getting chased out. The Double Bash coming out. Two dead. And now this is becoming a huge problem. Echo Slam on oh. to three. They might turn this fight around. There's going to be the mech coming out. S4 has to time walk away. RTZ does have an Aegis. S4 still getting charged. Sidor getting Malphys. S4 may be looking to go back in. RTZ hook shot by Zai to save his teammate. Cogs is a BZZ. Another Requiem going. RTZ going on the warpath. 
And they're gonna maybe try to keep fighting here. Hookshot in again. The time walk. BZZ is gonna fall. Yul's alone. S4 gets Fisher, but alive with 50 HP. He goes down to the tower. Puppy going in. Buy back onto BZZ. Jotam will fall. Artizi trying to leave the base. BZZ might get both of these heroes. TP back in. That'll be from Jotam. Oh, the fish! Gets bashed up. He goes down. No TP for you, good sir. Fisher onto Puppy. Enchant Totem. They'll probably all fall. They get the melee racks. They get the rage racks, but they're gonna lose all five heroes. Maybe Puppy, TP, no, Enchant Totem to the face. See you later. Virtus Pro, they lose a set of racks, but they do end up taking five heroes. The gold exchange is a bit better for Virtus Pro. They get a lot of experience, 14,000, but still, they're barely hanging on by a thread here. That was crazy. That was a really nice Echo Slam, gotta say. I'm impressed. I mean, it didn't do that much, but it also just means they didn't die just yet against Nages. And that's good news. That's really good news if you're down so much. I mean, they're down 22, 23. Okay, gold. That is a yeah, hell of a lot of gold. That's a lot. Uh oh. I like those plays though. BP? They still. They still oh, are the gonna be trying to go for this. The Atos! BZZ oh. has to pop a BKB. And Puppy has to back away. He did have Black Hole, but they, they didn't want to fight. Zai's bottom as well. And by the way, he had an accident last fight. He's ready to go, man. It's, it's time for him to fight. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, that's four. What is this four gonna be picking up? He finished his BKB, um, like, two fights ago. Oh snap, they're gonna see him, there's a hookshot on whom, actually, they didn't get anyone done. S4 getting bashed, getting altered, I guess. Yeah, right. And he's still alive. Only BKB's down. I think you take this. Die hookshot? Hello? Ah, get found him! him. <laughs> the door does have charge. He actually oh. forces his way out of the, the cogs. Sidori, Ato's up now. Ancient Seal. Sidori is dead. He All doesn't right. have buyback for 50 seconds. He's going to respawn then. BZZ's foot pushing top. They're going to keep going. Zai hookshots to a creep wave in the middle lane just to get closer to whoever he's trying to find. He actually, he sees the, cur he, he sees the courier. It's a TP scroll. He's going top to try to deal with BZZ. And he does BZZ doesn't have a TP scroll. He, that's what's flying out. Okay, I'm crazy. I just saw that happening too. Gonna get a All right, and that's he gets nice. the courier. BZZ hook shot. Goodbye. You are not TPing. Zai's job is done. <laughs> that's all he needed to do. BZZ has to take the long, long walk of shame back home as their tier three tower is getting assaulted. Oh well, maybe maybe they're gonna lose Zai, but I think it's completely worth it at this point. You gotta get the Rex. This is so awkward. They're like walking hand in hand with each other. Yeah. Trying to, like, it's like they're trying to trying to get ahead and like, oh my god, Zai. Just keeps, he's just annoying the hell out of BZZ. Meanwhile, the bottom racks are exposed. The melee racks and range racks are getting assaulted. They're going to lose a set oh. of racks here. BZZ cog blocked again. He finally gets the kill on Zai, but Zai's like, I'll just buy back. Meanwhile, the Chronosphere onto GG is dead. He doesn't have buyback. Yol getting right clicked down. Yol is going to get blown up. Scotty done for RTZ, by the way. Also has an Eagle Song. So he's trying to fight. RTZ pops his BKB. Puppy has Black Hole. They cancel the TP from Yol. He doesn't want to get uh, Black Hole. That would not be fun, but they've already lost their bottom racks. Virtus Pro are maybe moments away from losing this game. Sedoi, who just bought back, or just respawned, I should say. Hook shot onto Jotam. Cogs were about to go. Jotam in trouble. He's going to force his way out. Still dies regardless. Doesn't have buyback. Just uses it. Puppy, Black Hole. Only onto Yol, but still, he finds the target nonetheless. Four down. Ultra kill for Arteezy. The tier four is now exposed. Gosh. And guess what? GG's called. What a game from Secret. Yeah, what a game indeed. And I I mean, yeah, it, it was a it was a close one actually. It was much closer than it looked. Um the thing is if you stop killing Secret once as VP, you're gonna be having such a bad time. And this is what happened at this one fight. And they just they, they kinda traded even and if you're not trading in your favor as as VP and this lineup, it just it just is too much to handle actually. And suddenly the big items are coming up, double BKBs, RTC had his, S4 had his.